All right, so the city view on India is constructive, and this is the global report that they put out on emerging markets by and large, and I'll take you through some of the key highlights of the report. They've, of course, upgraded India to an overweight rating, uh, amongst other EMs. They've downgraded China, I'll get to that as well. But uh, no, let's first stick to the first plate, wherein they've upgraded India to an overweight rating. They're saying India is benefiting from strong EPS momentum and projected growth, effectively very constructive on growth and earnings on India, on China, they say, and, and it's not just India, there are a couple of other EMs that they've upgraded, but amongst the major ones, India upgrade to overweight, downgrade China to neutral after the, four, after the recent rally that they, we have seen. They say China's recent rally has occurred despite weakening fundamentals according to Citi. Now, that notwithstanding, on India specifically, there are a few reasons which they bring out. So, on emerging, on India in particular, they say that the Nifty target for March 25 is to 23,900, which is about a 7% upside from the closing prices yesterday. They say valuations at 20 times one year forward are just about one standard deviation over the long term averages to the EM basis. So that's the first reason, of course, among, that valuations are in favor. And on earnings growth as well, they are saying that the earnings revision trajectory is broadly stable and trending better than the long-term averages, which is actually a respite. I mean, we've seen four years of double-digit growth for the Nifty on the earnings front. And if indeed we have the same thing in FY25, then you can certainly call it a much better trending uh, earnings growth market than what the long-term averages have shown. Now, moving on to some specifics. Of course, they say that uh, the good momentum in public capex and private capex is gradually improving. So that is one key fundamental reason. They, of course, speak about the rate trajectory as well. And they say that they continue to expect RBI's stance change in June. And they see the first rate cut coming out in October, despite all the chatter around what could happen to rates. So that's the other important part of the city view on India. And then, of course, they come out with specifics on what sectors they like and what sectors they don't. So their key overweights include PSUs, utilities and defense, industrials, banks and insurance. Very interestingly that PSU utilities and defense, which have been in a bit of a cloud of late, are finding favor with Citi as the key overweight because they, remember, they talk to a lot to global FI clients and therefore it's interesting to see this. Uh, where is it that they are underweight? Well, not a surprise, consumer discretionary, IT services and metals. You could argue maybe consumer discretionary is a bit of a surprise, but IT services and metals is something that most people are not too bullish on. So this is the large view of, of this is actually in a nutshell, the view that city has on India from maybe an 80-page report that we've tried to bring it for you.